Comedian Taylor Tomlinson delivered a sharp and poignant monologue on Wednesday night's episode of After Midnight, tackling the aftermath of the recent election with her signature dark humor. As the only woman hosting a late night show, Tomlinson's opening monologue reflected her mix of frustration, humor, and honesty about the political landscape, particularly following the re-election of Donald Trump for a second term. I'm Taylor Tomlinson. Welcome to the show, she began, acknowledging the tense mood in the room. First off, elephant in the room, I am sorry if it's your birthday today. That sucks. She quickly set the tone for the night, joking that it was an honor to be on television while women are still allowed to be. Her monologue continued with a blend of humor and vulnerability as she shared how she coped with the election results, turning to a bag of jelly beans and re-watching Game of Thrones in a desperate attempt to get back to 2011. With which she lamented the rise of figures like Joe Rogan in shaping political discourse, remarking, remember 2011, back when Joe Rogan wasn't helping people decide elections? He was just helping people decide if they were gonna eat bugs for money. Tomlinson also offered a biting critique of the state of American politics, particularly the re-election of Trump, humorously comparing his return to a bad reboot of a show, one she knows well given her role in hosting After Midnight, a remake of the Comedy Central show, Me Are Midnight. Why does he have to be president? Usually when you're reintegrating an ex-con back into society, you just have to let them work at Baskin Robbins, she joked. The comedian also expressed frustration at the well-meaning but empty reassurances she received in the lead-up to the election. She acknowledged the heaviness of the moment, stating, if your friend dies, you go to the funeral and you say, I really miss my friend. You don't go to the funeral and immediately scream, volunteer at the library. Her monologue struck a balance between dark humor and sincere commentary on the current state of affairs, inviting both laughter and reflection. Joined later by panelists Zach No Towers, Laura Peake, and Guy Branham, Tomlinson's segment provided a much-needed moment of levity amidst the turmoil of the day.